Yeah. So Mark has a question about syncing files. He says, I have an external hard drive on my Mac at home and one at work. I have a three, I have three terabytes of files on a hard drive at home and I want to sync it with the hard drive at work. It is much larger than three terabytes, so plenty of room. I'm currently using mega.nz paid plan, but it runs very slowly. I have been back and forth with their support and they have no answers except to say that it is more than it is more than usual uh, more than any, the usual amount of data i have they must be used to users they must be used to everyday users excuse me with small files got it suggestions okay. for something simple willing to pay for i think icloud won't do it because it will not work on an external drive correct love the podcast keep doing it forever <laughs> well, we will attempt the forever part, but uh, I can't make any promises because linear time is, is you know, arguably doesn't exist. Uh, that said, <laughs> OK, so Mega.NZ, if you don't know, just for to level set, everybody is essentially a, a file storage and syncing service kind of like dropbox will say that for now right <laughs> and syncing three terabytes with dropbox would be uh, effective for this solution but uh, you know not not cost effective <laughs> like it, it would be functionally effective and dropbox would love you forever <laughs> because you'd be paying many people's salaries right but um but it, you know not the right solution you don't need it stored in the cloud potentially your work doesn't even like you might even currently be, uh, you know, violating some things. If you're storing data that you want to have, that is work data in the cloud, like you just want these two things to sync with each other. And that's that. So the thing that pops to my mind is something called Resilio sync. Um, I don't know where they got that name, but I know why they got that name because it used to be called BitTorrent sync and BitTorrent the name has a little bit of a stink on it because BitTorrent is used for, you know, uh, it's a peer to peer technology that is used sometimes, not always for like nefarious purposes of sharing pirated files and things like that. But it's a really efficient protocol and a really robust protocol that doesn't rely on a server anywhere. It uses all the peers in a group. And when you're sharing with, you know, like pirated files, it might be thousands of people you don't know, but it can be used for a closed group. I mean, every group of BitTorrent is closed if no one knows the, the way to get into it. And of course, yours would be closed to your devices. But Resilio Sync, you install on your Mac at home, on your Mac or Windows or Linux machine or your disk station or whatever you want. Uh, at work and and or elsewhere you can have you know i think you can have up to on the personal version which i think is free uh you can have up to like 10 devices all participating in your cloud it, this may have changed over the years it's been a while i used to use it all the time and it just and it's because it's based on the very robust BitTorrent protocol um it's pretty good at traversing firewalls even firewalls that are built to block the BitTorrent protocol so again so f so long as you're not violating work policy you might just install this pointed at these two folders and say sync them up and boom you're done and that way you're only using the bandwidth between you and work you're not reliant on whatever you know third party ha you have involved that might be slowing things down it could just be that your bandwidth between home and work is slow and that, you know, that's something that you'd have to fix, but, uh, but at least it's all on you. So Resilio sync is, is the name of it. And uh, it can really be the, the, the answer for something like this.